Oh, there he is right again. And then he got hit with the, the sun. Boom. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> it's like it's like there's no in between. It goes like red or gray. See, like it's crazy. I'll take that. That's yeah. good. Let's split that right there. That's great. I don't even have my hat on, bro. I'm like in rare form today. Just <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> That's all right. I'm adjusting. I'm adjusting my headphones. I aren't hooked up to anything. I just didn't want to feel left out because you guys weren't having headphones. I, dig I don't know. Like I've never tried. I know so many people. Like a lot of my guests don't even have headphones. So I was like, whatever. But anyway, yeah. It's gonna. It's gonna get annoying, and they're gonna come off. I just. Yeah. Not yet. All good. Yeah. Let's do it. Whenever you guys are ready. All right. So who wants to do the intro first? It's your show. You want you want you want to do it, Rich? What what show are we doing? Your show, it's your show. All right. Do we got music? Uh, oh, post. Pipe it in. No. Pipe it in and post. That's a no. Just say no. Okay. What is up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Never Enough Toys Podcast. I'm your host, Rich Rampage, along with my co-host, Grizzdiz. What's up, everybody? And we are very excited to have our boy, our third wheel, our third musketeer. He is the man, Benny Rowe. What's up, players? What comes What's up, up homie? Hanging in, man. Thanks for having me. It's been a couple years, right? I think since I've been <laughs> on the show. 14, 15. Something like that. I mean, everybody's yeah. collection, I think, has grown substantially since. Ah, it is. But thank you for having me. How you guys? Oh, well, I got so many. I got so many empty shelves behind me. Look, 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 look at this. It's empty, weird. Empty, empty, empty over there. Empty, empty. I am. I am uh, clearing the house. Yeah, I'm cutting down. Clearing house. I'm proud, proud of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I um, I mean, it's a process. Of course. Yeah. Well, how's everybody oh, yeah, doing otherwise? Toy Rampage, Toy Rampage on Macari. Do it. There you go. Go get, go get you some. <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> had your first sale already, right? Since since recording? Uh, I've had four sales today. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. That, that Ecto was priced nicely. I saw that. Yeah. No, I, I kind of feel like I wish I would have uh, charged more, but hey, what are you going to do? Yeah. Hey, you make it, making room, right? That's, that's the best that, thing you can do. It was just taking up space. The assholes over at Hasbro made me look like a fool, and they put out the one that I really wanted, and I'm still not going to get because it's still too big for my collection. But, but then again, maybe I will get it because then those those GI Joe size ones are coming out too, and those will probably fit. So I don't know. Yes. Oh, the good old O ring, right? Yes, exactly. Sweet. I don't know. So, um, uh, I guess what what is up, everybody? All the listeners of the podcast, the watchers of the uh, the YouTube. Uh, we uh, have been absent for quite a while. Um, I, on one hand, I have a baby to blame, so I have a baby. That's why. Yes, Ben. Uh, and Ben also, also has. Makes, it makes me very. Un- it's 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 on no blame, nobody but myself for not being around. Uh, but the boys are doing it. Grizz Diz is on it. We out Grizz- there. What are you doing, brother? How you doing? Uh, I'm a psychopath. I'm getting into all kinds of crazy things over here. I mean, I get texts, I get messages, and you're like, I got this, I got that, I got this, I got that. I said, uh, his walls are going to fall off. They're going to implode. Like a... <laughs> yep. Yep. I was burning to do the next the next episode with you guys. Couldn't wait to share. Um, and yeah, just been just been getting as much as I, I can with the means that I can, which is not a lot right now. So, you know, trying to, you're, and you're basically, you're a Marvel heavy man. Yeah. I mean, there's a, there's a Marvel heavy plan right here. Uh, we'll get into that. Uh, there's a ni- nice Marvel wall behind me, but I do have the DC stuff that still gets, a, you know, a pepper every once in a while. We'll get somebody new. I think Toy Man was the last guy I got from DC Universe. What? Um, you got a you got a figure of me? 
<laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I got a figure of you, Toy Man. Sorry, I got these stupid dad jokes now. Um, <laughs> and Benjamin, you're on the you're on the DC side. Yeah, I mean, you 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 see that wall of McFarlane behind you. Good old Toddy Mac. I mean, you, my favorite, finally complete. We got the Plastic Man. So yeah, so happy about that. I'm just missing his normal arms, but that's okay. All right, weird, bro. Oh, it's funny. I forgot that you, uh, yeah. Yay. And that little oh, baggie wow. with your name on it, pal. Awesome. Was huh. that from the Aquaman or? Yeah, because I didn't yeah, care for Aquaman, him. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't care for him. So I was like, yeah. And then he uh, got it. I'm like, oh, that's it. Look, I've been look. waiting for that Aquaman. I've been waiting for that Aquaman figure to come out for years. So I was stoked. Look at this. We tri- finding a way. Look at this Triforce that just happened. So I literally found that Aquaman for you, Rich. Yeah. And then the arms are going to Ben. Boom. Look at that. We are. I mean, that's, that's, that's sometimes how this... it could be vicious, but sometimes it's a beautiful circle, man. I love yeah. it. Yeah. We well, always loyal to work for each other. So I'm grateful for both of you. Always. Yeah. And yeah. I've been, I've just been buying, I got, I got turtles up the wazoo. I got masses up the wazoo. I got. I'm. I'm still. I'm still getting Tiny Mac. I'm getting freaking Marvel. I mean, it's just a. It's just a mess in here. It's never enough. Yeah. There is. <laughs> <laughs> See, I mean, I'm so used to everybody throwing the pun my way, you know, because I'm always pressed for time or pressed for arthritis with my back. But it's nice to be able to return the favor. So you're welcome. Yes. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yeah. Here's the names and precedents. I always say absolutely. It. Everything gets caught in the net. True story. So yeah. I think we all know why we're here. So I be I think we need to start getting into the halls. Yeah. I think maybe Grizz wants to get in there. Let's oh, if you want. Let's go if you want to do it. I, no, go. I mean for me, I know you're waiting for my my Grail surprise because that's yeah. The, yeah I heard we'll it. Wait, we'll wait on. That's yeah, that's we'll that's, save that for last. That's last. <laughs> that's for last. Uh, well, you, yeah. you see, you see what's in front of you. We got a nice little uh, six figure. You, you got to know that this has kind of got to be a builder wave. And uh, we're going to go ahead and show some of these off here. We got Icarus and Red Widow. We've got Wolfsbane and Kazar. And we have Black Winter and Cable. We have built a Zabu. I'm jealous because I only want the Kazar and Zabu. That's all I want. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, well, listen, if you got a uh, Savage uh, He-Man, you pretty much got Kazar. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess, but he's got, uh, this He-Man's got the Heather Lockley hair cut, and I'm not digging it, so. Well, a lot of people yeah. are taking his, this head from the Legends and putting him on. Well, what I actually did was I took the head off of Sentry and put it on the Faker. With his oh, wow. on it. Yeah. There you go. That works. Oh, it's yeah, a good so. kid bash. Mm-hmm. Sweet. So, yeah, I mean, we got this this whole build here that I'll eventually get out and 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 go into everything. And you know, I was thinking about it, and I'm like, when I when I go for a wave, like it's it's kind of it has to be like just right. And I think this wave like really did that for me. I could put the Red Widow with my uh, uh, Winter Guard. I could put obviously Kazar. I've got um, or Kazar, however you call him. I have my Sauron, and when I build the Sabu, that's going to be just the you know money. The two of them. This cable, I got to represent Marvel vs. Capcom too. You know what I'm saying? He goes Great over on this figure. side here. You got to do it. That love this, love this idea. Um, Black Winter actually, I, I I found a spot for him with Galactus because he is uh, also like a devourer of universes in his story. So he goes with Galactus. Oh my God! It's the first one I ordered out of all of them. Wolfsbane. I'm so happy that we finally have a proper Wolfsbane in the X Factor outfit. That was the the final piece of the puzzle for that team. So happy with Hasbro for finally getting that figure into the line. And finally, Icarus would go along with the Black Knight and Cersei that had just come out from Amazon. So literally every single figure has a place in in my universe, which is very rare. Like is usually like one that's like an outlier that like, 
you know, it's like, ah, I'm not going to go for the Red Widow. Ah, I'm not going to go for Black uh, Winter. I kind of have a spot for everybody already made. So it's cool. Nice. And you didn't, gra- you didn't grab the Iron Man then, right? I assume. So there you go. I, I really, that, that, like, it's too much. Like, I really don't have enough space for another Iron Man. Even yeah. though I, sh- even though I should, I should really be getting as many of them as possible. Even, even though I just picked up a retro card Iron Man for you. Just oh saying. yes, you did. <laughs> oh, you found it. Nice. I did. Big booted, big booted art Iron Man on its way to Grizz. Yay, Mark Nine. So that and and I could even bring bring this one in. So he's got that on the retro card. Rich loves this uh, this figure here for that mullet head i love that yeah i love that tony stark has great i was well, that, you know that head comes comes with the gold armor one too now oh nice uh it might not be the long hair though it I might be it. it might be the one from the 80th well, uh i think i think you're wrong but it's okay it's nothing below <laughs> oh. I'll, I'll, let me we'll grab check. it <laughs> we'll, we will check we will check well, actually, oh, I think it's no. You're you're right. It's the one that comes with the twentieth anniversary head. And I think I'm wrong. Oh, ah, <laughs> uh, shorter hair. Oh, shorter hair. Yeah, yeah. That's the one from the twentieth anniversary. All right, so we I we're both wrong. <laughs> Um, so yeah, speaking of Iron Man, I got whiplash. Ooh. Oh, oh, jelly, 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 jello nuts. I got 80s. Oh man. Um, so yeah, no, he was pretty cool. Like, I, I don't remember him at all. I just know his Mickey Rourke, yes, uh, whiplash. Um, but I am a fan of figures of the comic book versions of these people, so. I was just like, all right, well, he's cool enough looking. I like his green ponytail and his purple purse and his uh, golden electric whip. I like it. He's never been made. It's just an awesome addition to that. Yeah, I love that figure. Yeah, yeah, I know. Purple mask, purple Batman. As he looks like, kind of looks like Batman if you put ears on him there. Yeah, that's a customizer's job right there. Do it. It's they, already, they already made purple Batman. They made rainbow Batman. They made them. Yep. Pink Batman and board shorts. <laughs> Anyways, so um, what have you gotten lately? Oh wait, we're still talking about the 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 Marvel Legends. I'm sorry. No, I mean this is this is good. This is good here. Um, another thing that I did open was this here, the select. You guys have this also. Oh, I have that beautiful Eddie Brock. Yeah, love it, love yes. it, love this figure. And I don't know if either one of you. I think one of you has this, but if you need this head for your uh, legends, I have an extra one. This I is from the. You have this one. Is that the legend one or is that the diamond one? This is the legend one. No, I could use that if you have a spare. I do have sure. a spare. I, I, I do have my. Like, because I have one of those older Venoms that I thought came with it, but he didn't come with that head. Yeah. So what I did also on this one is, you know those like extra heads that are on there? I put I put some of my extra heads in place. I see so, that. Yeah, so it's like going a got, lot going on. You got the tongue one there. You got the head one coming out the back. You got the classic on the front. That's awesome. Yeah, so you can so do much. a lot. Pretty cool. The circle of figs. Yeah, but yeah, this was this was big, and obviously the Iron Man, you uh, you got me, and Namor, and and Namor, yes, yes. Namor. Is that the the surfer Namor with the long hair? It looks like Jason Mimosa. Yes, right. <laughs> it's not Jason Sangria. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Jason White Sangria. Ciao. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I, I, all right, I, you know what I got? I got this. I got this guy. Oh my gosh! That's that's the original sketch there of Michelangelo, and we got Donatello, and we got. Oh wait, I gotta do it. So the right order. Leonardo. 
He leads. Yeah, he's not far yet. Nice. Uh, the uh, Playmates' 40th anniversary Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles original sketch designs. Super cool. Like, they, why am I sideways? Sorry. Um, like, they get the, the platforms that connect. They they all have their weapons. They connect it to their wrists. So, so it's like, it's it's very cool. I haven't opened them yet. I've seen other people display them. Yeah, I think I know how I'm going to display these guys, and I, I can't wait. I can't wait. And uh, it's like, I think it, they're, they're Target exclusive, and for a while, sorry, my camera is giving me problems. Um, right. For a while, each store is only getting like one set, and you, so you got to be there when they're putting it out, or it's like the backroom special. You got to ask somebody, and they go grab it for you. I was lucky enough to find it in the after, in my afternoon stop, which usually never happens. You find it in the morning and that's it. But sometimes you never know. Usually like you, that usually happens with like NECA stuff. They'll show up. The reps will load up in the afternoon. So you go back a second time in the afternoon and they actually got something new. These are actually tar target employees have to put these shits out. And it was either probably they were waiting until the actual first because they the, the release date was June 1st on these. And then um, people were finding them early and still able to get them on sale, which I was able to get them on sale. I got them at ten forty nine a piece, so nice. even better. Nice, even better. good stuff. Good stuff. I got something that's turtle related that's not ten forty nine, but I got to go get it. <laughs> All right, well, Benjamin, take over for a second. I got to fix my goddamn camera. Everybody's got to run away, so I mean, it's great. I'll be just showing my stuff to myself. Well, I think Grizz is back, so there we go. Yeah, that was quick. Um, I had it pretty handy. <laughs> All right. There we go. So, the turtles yeah. related. We got it. Turtles related, and Rich actually picked this up for me, and it hasn't seen the show yet, so here we go. We have the Pizza, pizza, pizza Club. Machines. Pizza Club Donnie Does Machines. Um. Right. So now it says on the back, collect all four. I refuse. There's not all four. No, I don't have all four. I'm not, I, I, I can't, like, like the 40th that you had there. No, I couldn't do it. But uh, this is awesome because it's the first time that we've gotten the spinning bow effect. Nice. Oh, uh, yeah. So we've gotten the, uh, the, four, like the forehand gotten nunchuck. We've gotten the nunchuck before. Got the spinning nunchucks. Yep. I don't know if they've, they've ever done a spinning sigh, but that, that could work. Um, That's cool. But yeah, this is the only one that, that has the, the spinning bow. So I was like, all right, I could go for at least one turtle out of the rest of them. So that nice. was went with the unique of the bunch. Yeah. I, I've passed on almost everything that that holothon offered. All those pizza clubs, the turtles in disguise, all the mirage. I think the only thing I've got out of all of that was the Casey Jones in a suit. You did. I, <laughs> that was the only thing that I grabbed, just because it's it's stupid enough. Yeah. <laughs> everything else is like you have to be a real serious, like serious into this line to get all of this stuff because they even. They re they re released like Bebop and Rocksteady, so if you missed out. Mm -hmm. And then, but then they also they they dropped the the robot ones too. So like, I I can't I don't know who's getting those robot like, like what kind of scene you must have or just pile of boxes in the corner of a room you must have. That's most have, cases. <laughs> yeah, like all. Yeah. Of them. all I mean, it just looks crazy to collect all of it. Most agree. I, 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 I'm kind of feeling that way about the NECA stuff. I have a lot of yellow boxes back there, yellow and green boxes. They take up a lot of space. If I, yeah. start, if I start freeing those things, forget about it. I will have so much space back. It'll be see, they, they've made it. They've made it. it they've made it. You, you'd be doing a disservice if you didn't set it up with the mass produced display building and sidewalk and sewer set so like if you have that beautiful uh, neck of stuff it's not gonna look good unless it's on that beautiful like 
you know, those diet diet ramens. Ramens. It's, it's, they're, it's They're like a proprietary brand. It's kind of like you could buy aftermarket stuff to, to, you know, make your collection much better, but you could buy a, our first party stuff, our NECA official, and it's legit, you know? So, right. uh, so I just, it just makes you, it reminds me of like World of Disney, uh, uh, World of uh, the Simpsons, where you get the figures and it was like you get a, a room or a, like a, like a, a part of the house or something. Right. Is it? Back in the day, you got so much more right. for your money. So if you're gonna do all these dioramas, or like give me, and you're gonna put out all these crazy ass figures, give me a figure that also has like say half a diorama, or right. build a piece diorama. of a diorama. Nice. Build a diorama. Oh, that's that's a great idea. And they were kind of there. They were kind of there with the original NECA. No, but I mean, like the original four turtles, they all came with a piece of of uh, the street scene. Right, right. Well, so, these I mean, guys, these guys, these guys came with like a cool little floor. You know, they get the the ooze canister or whatever. So, like, and then they all connect. That's kind of like a a platform. It's, that it's, it's a base. Oh, yeah. that. But I mean, having a build up diorama would be great. Like having be like awesome. like five five pieces that snap together to make a room. That'd be awesome. Well, who did that? Diamond did what? that with the. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah well, so Diamond would do that the Ghostbusters. Yeah. Also, my Avengers, my Avengers was like a whole scene of like the death of Ultron and all that. Something yes, like that. the the MCU ones. Yeah, yeah. A- a- Zach, we just spoke. Yeah. <laughs> let's let's maybe uh, talk about that. Maybe a hat and captain. The Ultron from from that was really. Uh, yeah, that's a wave. I wish I would have gotten like, iconic the MCU ones. Yeah, you know me. I'm an MCU guy, so I say just replace my my Captain America. Yes, you were telling me yeah. because that that Captain America from that set is I've hated it since I bought it. But you got the new one to, finally, right? You got the new yeah, one. I just don't know. I did. I just hold, where the hell did I put it? Hold on. Who's yeah, the, the new said. the new Diamond Cap is beautiful. I gotta I gotta move these out of the way. Oh my gosh! You just flash no, no, Voltron no. in front of the screen. I got a movie flash in his Voltron. Got to move all this stuff out of the way. Oh my gosh! This guy. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I got to move that black line. Still, it's still moving at all. <laughs> got you guys. At, so wait, you you built the Voltron, Ben? Right? Oh, I did. It's, I did. Was it's, it like 13 it inches or something or 16? No, no. So, no 16, there you go. Right? Big boy. Nice. Love it. Nice. The the traps. America. Oh, that's beautiful. It's, yeah, Zach from Diamond, which I just had my show that will be airing soon for the Toy Closet. We just spoke about this figure. He said this was uh, a very, very well sold figure and it did sell out but they are making more so you know they're they're definitely listening to the fans and the ones that want it's so much better than like like i can't even show you the one i have because i just listed it it's in a it's in a baggie (laughs) in a in a tub uh because as soon as i saw this i was like you get him out of here yeah that yeah i was like that was a quick upgrade right there nice absolutely swift cool and being that it's Diamond Select, like, because my Avengers are Diamond Select and not Marvel Legends. So, right, right. Yeah, you have the scale to match. Makes sense. Yes. Cool. Crooked again. All right. And what, are we going uh, into dark territory with me? Or do you have anything else? Oh, uh, I got a little more. Got a little more. And actually, Ben, this is great because you get to take a trip down memory lane. Um, intended, huh? yeah, no pun intended. Really? So yeah, no pun intended. But uh, I have some things that uh, may have once belonged to you that you are a gentleman and uh, let go many years ago, and I kept them safe ever since. And uh, here's some of the the bits we have: uh, Piccolo, and then I also have the Burger King toy version of him. In gray, um, we have this trunks with the future long hair. 
got, let's see, what else we got? We got the Super Saiyan 3 with the kicking foot. Nice. He sits, he's missing his front piece of hair, but it's all good. Um, you have this trunks with the sword. Definitely from you. Yep, this is one of my favorites. Awesome. It's, it is right here. It is safe and sound, brother. Um, so yeah, we, as he slams his face to the, to the table, <laughs> safe and sound. <laughs> they, could, they could take the abuse, and then we have uh, Gohan with the training suit. I I, I love that they they kind of like mirrored each other with these training suits. That's so cool. The heavy ass training suits that no one else yeah. can wear. Yep. Yeah, so those are cool. He won't stand. Uh, and then you got go, uh, grayed out Goku. And this this actually was my figure, but this was a Super Saiyan 2 with the with that black outfit. I was just like, wow, they put out a black outfit on him? Looks nice. good. It's awesome. So I was going through these, and I was like, oh, you know, Ben, ben you know, some of these were Ben's, and like, you know, what's going on in DBZ? Rest in peace, Akira Toriyama. And uh, my buddy just, like, decided to, like, give me this out of nowhere. Like, I have every every other collection possible. And he's like, oh, I saw this and I thought of you. And I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. Janemba and uh, Super Gogeta. Saiyan Gogeta. So I, I have had this for a little bit. And it's just been burning in my collection, like the, a sore thumb a little bit. And I was like, you know what? Like, let me put it together with the stuff that you had. But I'm like, the scale. So, what did I do? Uh, more dragon stars. We have yeah. Goku in his uh, superhero form. Iconic look. So sick. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Yeah. Uh. And that's, that's why my show is called The Toy Closet, the multiverse of toy collecting, because we can't just pick one thing. Yeah. And you got Frieza in his fourth form. Uh, and I'm only picking these up on on the cheap, though. I am not. Yeah. I refuse to spend, like, good money Top on dollars. These. Yeah. I caught both you of these. Sure, I have a San Diego Comic-Con Goku if you want. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I just I, I I I wasn't like this wasn't even a blip on my radar of a collect collectability, but like out of nowhere, just like looking at it, I'm like, they're not bad for the price and you know, a little representation of the the old school Z. Like I got a I I was looking at the the back of this box and you got that piccolo. Right. Well the funny part is you know for for, for the viewers are not going to know Richie may know, but like you and I met through in a sense DBZ. Yeah, when 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 you yes. were a little when you were much younger. Yes, you know, I was a young lad, and I worked at a uh, video game store called Game Champ. Yes, Game Champ. Wow, yep. in I'm Green Ridge, Ridge, wow. Green and Ridge had, Plaza, uh, and I had long hair, and my wife that I didn't know yet worked right next door. Yeah, his inline skates, his yeah. Jinko jeans. My my fruit. Uh, what do they call them? Fruit fruit, fruit boots. Boot, fruit boots. You're a fruit love booter. my fruit. Love my fruit boots. Oh, uh, making my back hurt again, man. Reminding me of my <laughs> age. Jeez. <laughs> awesome. Great. So stuff, yeah. Though. So yeah. Good so stuff. a little D, a little DBZ, a little something different. There was the Pokemon that snuck in there a little bit, and now I got DBZ. I feel like a full-on 90s kid again. There you go. Nothing wrong it's with funny. that. Every time I do my every time I do my my room lives and I'm doing the scavenger hunt, they always ask, Where's the Dragon Ball Z? And I'm just like, ah, never watched the show. I just I just never watched it. It's just that that shit missed you like a bullet in Matrix. Bless your heart. <laughs> you know what? I just pictured those ki those kids in like junior high school wearing those button down shirts that were like silk, and it had like the Dragon Ball Z on it and flames and stuff. And I was just like, I, I had think it. I'm gonna like it. <laughs> I had those shirts. <laughs> I'm also a lot older than you, so you know, different, different times. Everybody, Hot Topic was a very different store back then. I'd say we're crossing over. We're crossing over. Yeah, love it. 
All right. Uh, so, go ahead. No, no, ben, Benjamin. Well, I was going to say, because I am unfortunately pressed for time. I'll oh, yeah. show my stuff as soon. My kids should be in bed already, and he's not. Spoiler alert. Screaming. So, I'll I'll do some, yes. Screaming, playing games, like his father. So, since we are Turk and Cap, we're Turk and Cap, I'll throw my uh, cap yeah, out there. Buddy. We got to get the evil cap in there. Come on. Thanks. Hail Hydra. Really cool. There you go. Um, got to mix it all up. Got my boy, Penguin. Oh, yes. Oh, no. You know, I got to do the Toddy Max. Got to mix it up. I did get that Plastic Man wave. Like I said, three out of four. He's over here. But since you were mentioning a specific one you were looking for, it was the reason that I didn't get the other one today. Door for you. Oh, beautiful. Excellent. She's impossible to get as far as I know right now. And she happened to be at the Target right by my house. So I said, yes, please. Can't beat that. Transformer. Got gears. I mean, I got a lot of stuff in here. So I can't yeah, definitely man. not be able to go through everything. But getting ready for my movie in July. Let's yeah. go. Oh, nice. So let's go. Nice. You found those in store? No, I pre-ordered them from good old Amazon. Nice. Got a couple oh. of special gifts from Diamond. Thank you to Zach. Oh, Diamond. dang. So I, I, have, nice. I have my Fantastic Four complete now. They uh, hook me up with some dioramas. Well, not dioramas. Uh, yeah, PVC diorama. Not not a, a, you know, PVC figure diorama versus... Yeah. yeah. We were talking about play sets before. Nice. Yeah, I have the, uh, I have the uh, Spider-Punk. Yeah. Yes, yes. I remember you saw it. You told me when you saw it, you lost your mind. Uh, so the reason that we're really waiting on me at this point is because I have decided to pick up a Grail. As you guys know, I have my Palisades nemesis up here somewhere. That was a big Grail for me. That that was a gift from uh, my co-host and buddy Tyler from Press for Time. But this was the Grail that I wanted for a couple of years. I definitely didn't didn't think I'd ever be able to take the plunge, but I saw a price that was too good to be true, and I figured I can make it work somehow. And uh, it's here, and I'm gonna show you really quick. Oh my gosh! <laughs> not, I want. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to show you, show you, but I'll show you. So drum roll. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! No, you didn't! No, you didn't! No, you didn't! Nap! No, you didn't! You psycho! Freaking did it! Oh, I did, dude! I did it, and I am beside myself. I definitely teared a little bit when I got here because I didn't think it would really come. I figured it was a scam. Was it a scam? It was not a scam. I was hoping that it wasn't, but was it I was the, prepa- I was prepared for it to be. Was it the cheap oh one God. on Mercari? You definitely saw it, didn't you? How cheap? Four uh, fifty. It was around the fives. Okay. So the guy said it. He's a collector that just didn't have the room to justify having it in the house. And when that box came, I was like, I'm getting a divorce. That's what you said divorce incoming. <laughs> but oh it, I got god, it up. I got no. it up here. I opened the box and there was another box and then there was another box. I'm like, oh my god, I have to figure this out. But she hasn't seen it. She hasn't asked. But I said, I have two big boxes I gotta throw out in the bed in the from the office. She's like, oh, okay. Throwing out boxes is good. <laughs> like, all right. Nobody was the wiser. Well, look, I mean, she she's seen the office. You know what I mean? Like She's been in here. I don't think she cares. She cares, but she doesn't care. She's very supportive. But yeah, I I I, I had to bite the bullet. I for that price, knowing that I'll never I'll never get it retail. My wife finds a way to make me feel guilty about it. I'm just like looking at it, I'm like, you're right. I fucking hate it. (laughs) (laughs) Well, you know, Part of, my issue, of <laughs> part of my issue is not only do I do it for myself, but I do it for my son. So my son is an avid collector, as you both know already with stuff. So 
just a quick idea of what I do for my kid. You guys know, but yeah, I was out. I took him to Brooklyn yesterday for Brooklyn Comic Con. I was curious. Wasn't the greatest thing, but I got to meet a voice actor that I love. So I was very happy about that. That's cool. You'll appreciate Grizz. I got to meet Allison Court. Ah, Claire Redfield. Yeah. Jubilee. Jubilee. Yeah. So that was that was a really cool opportunity. But uh it happened to be in my old neighborhood where I grew up. So I, I was like, let me try to connect the dots and just have wow. that moment. So we went and then you know, it was a lot of waiting. Like we went at like four or five o'clock and it was still a line around the building. To get in and we bought tickets it was so, that le- that was, late of a yeah well event. no it was all day but we bought later tickets hoping that we would get in quicker yeah wasn't great so a lot of waiting so i felt bad for xander because he was with me so i said you know what i'm gonna do something for him which i didn't need to you know it's just the way i am i drove him to the city from brooklyn I took him to the Nintendo store. We got there 10 minutes before the place closed. I double parked. I said, get your ass out of the car. Go pick out what you want. Let's go. He picked, he picked out three Mario plushes that he wanted. And uh, that's the stuff I, that I do for him. So, you know, I think yeah. she's, um, I try to be selfless. You know, this is like a rare time that I spend that kind of money on myself. You know what I mean? I'm usually doing it for others. So I'm happy. And yeah, either way, <laughs> I got a Sentinel. I got five Sentinels now. I have all different sizes. Dude, so this I'm, is I'm beyond insane. Happy. That's insane, bro. I, I am. I. You said you were. You had no yourself. idea, right? No, 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 no. When you <laughs> said Grail, when you said Grail, I was like, hmm, maybe it's something to go along with the Palisades, or like, I like, I was, I was not. I was like, oh, maybe a Transformer or something. Like, I had no idea it was going to be that. Oh my yeah, god! Yeah, no, I went, I went with I went with Transformer. I was like, it's probably some Transformer. That is sick. well, you know, it's funny because I have that that imported Metroplex that I had sent you guys pictures with. It's huge, also. Yeah, and it's pretty much just as big as the uh, the fortieth anniversary of Ultron, which is amazing, by the way, Richie. You need to get that opened. Trust me. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, I'm, I'll get it together. It's got awesome electronics. And when you actually insert each part, it does like the ch- uh, like clicks in and ah, it was insane in my glory in my glory. I was like a little kid again because I only had the cheap plastic Voltron as a kid. I never had the die cast, so this is the closest I'm getting to that. And the articulation is pretty great, you right. know. So this, is, this this came out not too long ago, right? Like this was this came out when the the la- when the Netflix show came out and had their version. So we're talking like maybe five, six years ago, and then they just re-released under the 40th banner. Oh wow! Then we had, yeah. but we had that Target exclusive questioning of did Playmates, you know, do that? It would look like it was a timed exclusive, and now Big Bad has the full set, you know, for a hundred bucks. So again, thank you to Rich Rampage because he was able to scout and get a whole set pretty much, and we ended up just you know kind of passing it back because Playmates was kind enough to hook me up so I can review it formally. So that video will be up this week too. So Ooh. lots of things going on, baby. Speaking of, speaking of Playmates, real quick, there was some news. We had, we had Amazon link for the uh, Playmates uh, TMMT 40th anniversary Technodrome. Um, yes. We've got more pictures. More pictures have come out with figures inside. And it looks like it's going to be a little smaller than the original. Oh, really? I heard conflicting. Look, I, the way that it looks to me is that the figures are looking a little tight in the newer version than they do if you compare them to older version. They could have, so, could have scaled it a little bit less. Yeah, we'll see how that see how that goes. I mean, listen. All I can ask for is Hasbro gets their their S in gear and gives me a, a Ghostbusters house. I can get my Grail. But what they'll oh, do is they'll give you yes. the F. But what they'll do is they'll give you the afterlife version of it and then make you buy it and then two years later release the one that you really want. Like well, for, for the record, let's be mindful of the fact that there is a Ghostbusters Hab Lab has lab coming very soon. And That's like true. it has the ghost and it has a wheel. So imagine it is the ghost house and a car. Like and the, and the car. 
Because, I mean, why else would you have the wheel? That was, you know, like, I mean, you've released Ecto-1s before, so, like, I don't know if you could justify a HasLab for an Ecto-1 unless they're going to do, like, a, a 112 scale that has all the lights and, like, go into, like, crazy detail. But I'm thinking Firehouse. Like, it makes sense. Right, well, right. Let's go. I'll buy well, that, too. And I don't hey. like those buses. <laughs> Let's I'll go. With retro right, yeah. It's one of my. It's one of my. It's one of my grails. I did the original Ghostbusters firehouse. I never had it as a kid. My cousin never had, had it. it either. Wanted it. It, was had it either. it was the best. I remember putting my toys in there. I was like, "This is the clubhouse. You can stay out." And, uh, and the freaking pole and everything. I just. I loved it. I loved it. So I had it. Yeah. I had it, and a cousin stole it from me. I left. I left it at my grandmother's. Stole it. He stuck it in his pants. No, I left it at my grandmother's house. I remember when we moved. And uh, we went back, and it was not there. And she's like, "Oh, it wasn't here." I'm like, "Yeah, <laughs> sure, sure." Oh, yeah. I- yeah, yeah. That and my Fortress Maximus. So you helped me get a Fortress Maximus like a couple of years ago, and that was so yeah. important to me because of that. I had that as a kid, and and again, I had Metroplex too. But Metroplex was like much smaller as a kid. Right. So when I saw that import, and I hate the American versions. Especially that new one that looks like he's uh, <laughs> looks like he's human centipeding himself. He turns into, <laughs> he turns into like a bent over shovel maker. Like I don't know what the hell is going on. But uh, <laughs> but I, I when Paul Legend Pop Toy Closet co host showed me that Metroplex. I keep doing this because it's out of sight, unfortunately. But it is right. massive, and it dude, it has a sheet of batteries. Because it has lights, like it's got like heat yeah. exhaustion lights that look like they're like fanning on and off. I'm like, right. I don't have time for that. It's got instructions <laughs> that are not in English. So I'm like, he looks great. I don't need him to have lights. He's awesome. Amazing. It's so amazing. Cool. amazing. But I, I, what are you yeah, doing over there? I was going to say, he's, oh, he's unboxing. I hate to be rude, but it is super late now. And my kid has work, uh, school tomorrow. And I have work. I was going to say, he has work and I have school. Nah, I, got, I got work tomorrow too, bro. <laughs> Nice. Very nice. Here, and Very here's nice. the finale. Mandible. Save the tiger. Save with the tiger. <laughs> Grim sword. Save with the tiger. <laughs> I love it. So this thing, you, you know, you got your your full on rocker on the head here, um, and then this tuft here turns like up here. Nice. Pretty cool. And then you got like all this rocker in in the center. Oh man, you could do. Oh, uh, dude, yeah, I totally had. A, I totally had an animal figure like that back. It was like a. Long, I had a lion, and it, it was articulated just like that. It was like all different bends in the in the torso, the on the legs, on the arms. Feet, That's nice. Everything, everything. This is such a beautiful build a figure. Oh my awesome. god. Epic way to close it out. Great, 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 great way to close the show, fellas. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for having me. I absolutely it. love you both. You know that. To the stars and above. Love you, buddy. Brothers and toys forever. Yes, always. So. Uh, and have fun, fellas. Thanks for coming on the show. So make sure to subscribe to the channels. We got Press for Time and Never Ghost. Enough Toys Podcast. Yeah, it's a swap kiss, baby. Hey, dude, and I cannot believe time. that grill. I, I I won't get over that grill for a long time. <laughs> and it's I, I, th- I thought I thought you was. <laughs> I love it. Later, players. Bye, Bye guys. Guys. Bye, guys. <laughs>